beast, didn't they? Chuffed to bits. The smallest little thorn back there. I'm just concentrate on not leaving the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boat. Covered him, man. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same same all the time. We want something different, a good old show. Hello and welcome to the channel. I've got two rods in the water and I'm fishing. And where are we fishing? We're fishing at Hamble, Hamble Foreshore, the main car park just in front of the marina. Um, fishing light rods, agilities, uh, 7HT, millionaires, non-magged, ragworm baits and using the rig from the channel that we made recently, the Wessex rig. And there'll be a link to that above me or in the description. Um, what do we expect to catch? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> we don't expect to catch anything today. Um, I say we. Mike Caves here from Quality Time Tackle. Um, he's beavering away, sorting out his tripod, getting two rods rigged. Um, Greg's on his way down in a bit, I think. He had to have his breakfast before he'd come out. And yeah, what are we fishing for? The elusive Solent flounder or Southampton water flounder. The prolific schooly bass. Um, anything really. Winter doldrums, poor fishing, poor tides, poor weather. Poor me. <laughs> but we're fishing. We're out there doing it. So yeah, that's what we're up to. Ragworm baits, Wessex rigs, light tipped rods, light lines, scratching around. See what we can catch. We're not the only ones here. There's plenty of other anglers further along the foreshore. See how it goes. Young Michael has just caught himself a Southampton flounder. What's the colourings like on the dark side, bud? Oh, it's a very dark one, isn't it? What a stunning fish. Did you see the bite? Nope. Yeah, <laughs> he was a sleeper. <laughs> one to about the last 10 foot I knew he was there. That's crazy, isn't it? Well, so this is right on the spit as well, isn't it? Right on the spit. And that was your distance rod, that yeah? That was your distance rod, that was. Nice. Well done, bud. Yeah, always like to see him go back, mate. What a stunner. If you push it my way, I might get a chance of catching it. There, he's there gone. Goes. Just going for a bait change. I thought I'd show the rig. It's the rig that we've shown on the channel recently. And it's a full running ledger with a breakaway three ounce flat weight. The top snood is kicked away with a bit of rig tubing, some floating beads, and I'm expecting schooly bass on that one. The lower portion of the rig with some of the comments that's been made on the channel recently, I've made detachable. So I'm trying an experiment with different lengths, but this one's got the bejazzle on it. Bejazzle, tails, spinning blade, and a stop knot. That's what's going out. That's another cracker, isn't it? You've obviously tuned into them, mate. Was that a distance one again? No, it's too short. But loads of bejazzle. Yeah, loads of beads and bales on it. Yeah. And that was on top pulley. That's on right. the pulley, pulley rig. Yeah, I can see that. On yeah. the pulley panel. So they're out there? They're out there somewhere boys. Yeah, just got to search them out. Lots of ragworm, single ragworm? Lots of rag. Lots of rag, yeah. Alright bud, Big nice clear. one. Cracker. Yes mate. They go well, don't they? They don't muck about. So that's Mike with two crackers so far, and he's fishing that distance off the spit. Whereas I'm fishing in the bay on the mud. He's obviously doing something better than me. It's <laughs> still time, see if we can winkle one out. But yeah, Mike's doing the business. Mike, is your channel actually called Quality Time Fishing? Quality Time Fishing, that's yeah. what it's called, yeah. Just thought I'd confirm that before I broadcast it out, but yeah, get yourselves over, check out Mike's channel, Quality Time Fishing, Beach and Shore. Check out his website, Quality Time Fishing, Tackle, good tackle supply. Yeah, to Neil. <laughs> My only saving grace is Greg hasn't caught one yet either. I bet he wishes he had pulled those two out in the Limington flounder comp the other week. Still busy beavering away. Drowning worms. 
fine-tuning rigs, doing our fishing. Mike's the only one to catch, and he kept caught at low on the flood off the spit at distance. Um, quite telling that, to be honest. I think he was out on the ragworm bed that certainly isn't here closer in. So the days of my old tactic of fishing in close with the flounder following in and feeding in close seems to be a load of old tup. It looks more like at this mark you need to fish at low water, get as far out as you can and fire it out as far as you can. There's another guy to my right, fishing hard, beavering away. Greg to our left, fishing hard, beavering away. Mike catching and me watching. That seems to be the sum of it at the moment. Mike and Greg are packing up. I'm thinking about it, but then I've still got bait left, so I'm still keen to carry on. So what I'll do is I'll say my goodbyes. I'm gonna fish on as I lose the light. The light is failing. Loads of people out walking today. It's the first day of no rain for about two weeks, I think. Everyone's out. It's nice to see everyone out. So what I will say, it's goodbye. Thank you for thank you for joining me. Tight lines, happy fishing. From me, from here, for now. It's goodbye. I'm all a bit down in the doldrums because I've blanked today. I ain't even got a schoolie to, to, to cast aside the blank. But nice to see that Mike managed to winkle him out. Different tactics and his tactics worked. My tactics didn't. Um, so yeah, if something changes, I'll come back. But if it doesn't, take care. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.